Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be making RAS BMC with my Raspberry Pi. Now just before I get too far into it, I'd like to say that this video is going to span quite a section of things that you can do to make your RAS BMC more and more and more advanced. You'll see down the screen now there's different chapters and you can click on one of those links and be transported directly to the part that you're interested in or you can scroll along the bottom to find the right time in this video. All right, here we are with my Raspberry Pi Model B. Now you can see I've just put it inside a Pi Moroni case. Uh, it's a Pi Bow, which is a beautiful case, really strong and sturdy. I've got a video actually assembling this uh, if you'd like to check that out. But uh, inside is just your regular Raspberry Pi Model B. You'll notice it's Model B because it's got the two USB ports and the network connection. So inside here, even though it's inside a case, it's just your regular standard Pi that you buy. And when it comes, it'll look a lot like that, minus the case. So this is obviously the core of the project. I'm just going to put that to the back and talk about some of the other bits that we're going to need for this project. Of course, we're going to need a, a, uh, an HDMI cable to connect it to the TV. We're going to need a power source. Here I've just got a uh, micro USB cable. And of course, a one amp charger. I got the Noobs uh, NOOBS 8 gigabyte micro SD for Raspberry Pi. It came with my Raspberry Pi uh, and I'm going to use that to set up uh, RASBMC. Now there's other ways of doing it and what I'll do is uh, I'll just hold here for a second um, so that I can create a link for you to see a video on how to get XBMC onto a stick that isn't this one. Although for the remainder of this video, I'll be using this noob stick. Great, so why don't I take that out of there. Well, it's trickier to get into it than I thought it would be. I still haven't managed to get into it. Ah, there we go. Yeah. There you go. I'm just going to slop that in to the Raspberry Pi. All right. The next piece is this. This is a micro USB 2 drive. It's, um, let's see if I can get it in front of camera here. There we go. It's a 16 gigabyte flash drive. It looks pretty fancy because it's so small, but it's just a standard 16 gigabyte flash drive, just like you'd find in other ones. Anyways, it's pretty small and compact. I like the look of it, so I'm just gonna stick that into the back of the pie. There you go. The last thing to talk about here is the keyboard that I'm going to use. This keyboard is a wireless keyboard, which means that I can control my Raspberry MC from the couch. You can see it's uh, got a pretty small form factor uh, and a really small touchpad, but both work well for the application that we're going to be using. Uh, this one is called the RII, R -I -I. and uh, I've had it for a little while actually. I find it to be quite a good keyboard. One of the differences between this one and some of the other ones is uh, that there's a switch on the side to uh, turn the keyboard on and off. It also, conveniently for me, has on its side a little laser pointer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, laser point at anything. Uh, there you go, there's a laser pointer, uh, which is great uh, for when I want to play with the cat. Um, basically, I'm watching a movie, the cat wants to play, I can play with the cat while watching a movie. Fantastic. Uh, on top of that, uh, this has some advanced, this uh, keyboard has some advanced functions that I can take advantage of. Uh, it's backlit, which is great, but also you can see that it has volume control, which is really useful for XBMC. 
The last thing to mention about this keyboard is that it comes with its own 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. So I don't need to worry about setting up Bluetooth or anything else. Basically, I just pop this in and we're away. So in terms of the hardware setup for Raspi MC, you basically got it there. My power connection, my connection to the TV, the Raspberry Pi with its noobs uh, stick on the side, uh, the, the keyboard dongle, and its 16 gigabyte carrier, and of course, the keyboard, which I'm looking forward to putting to good use. All right, well, we're getting ready for the next chapter, but at this point, it's good to remind you that you can always skip ahead to the further sections. You can post any comments, in the question, uh, comments or questions in the section below. You'll find in the About section that I'm going to list most of the software that I'm going to be using throughout the rest of the video. And there's a donate button. So if you find my video useful, inspiring, or you just want to buy me a cup of coffee, I'm happy to accept. Um, thanks to those who've already donated, and don't forget to give my video a like. Thanks very much.